Hey, hi viewers, this is Dr. Michael and welcome to my channel today. This is Classic Tech TV and today I'll be talking about the supposedly said Apple iPhone 9 which is set to come out by the ending of March and released by early April, that's the first quarter of 2020. If you have not subscribed, I'd like you to do so by subscribing, clicking the subscribe button below this video to get more of these tech stunning videos. Now, Apple is considering uh, adding an iPhone to their flagship line which is going to be called the iPhone 9, iPhone SE2 or iPhone alone. By tech expert which has been reviewed and over time deemed true. Welcome back now to my channel and as I said earlier on I'll be giving you this full spec and the rumors concerning the Apple iPhone 9 which is set to release ending of this month March here in Nigeria in 2020. So here we are now in March 2020 and Apple has deemed fit to add an additional uh, Apple phone, that's the iPhone now to its flagship line, that's the iPhone. Now about um, three years ago, that's in 2017, Apple skipped the iPhone 8 and jumped to the iPhone 10, and that's the X2 that we all know due to the, um, the 10 year anniversary of Apple, we all know that uh, making it the Fourth phone to be skipped. They skipped the iPhone 2 likewise. They skipped the S model of the 7 and the 8, making it the fourth model which they will be skipping. So now, iPhone as um, Apple as the O have decided to give us this phone again back in 2020, but now they are planning on calling it the iPhone 9, which might somehow weird, or the iPhone SE to because following this SE model of 2016, which was released in 2016, that's about four years ago. But now we could, can't say, but tech experts from various areas about the around the world have talked about these phones and they said is either coming out as an iPhone 9, iPhone SE2, or an iPhone VVD like the, the Apple iPad. So if you know what an iPhone 8 looks like, like the iPhone 6 that I reviewed about two weeks ago, I'll show it to you on the video. This is the iPhone 6 here. Yeah. You can see that the phone screen is has a touch ID at the down part, that's the home button, making it a bezel phone. That's how the iPhone 9 or the iPhone SE2 supposedly said is going to come out. It's coming out with this iPhone 8, same design that we all know, but it's coming out with the latest um, version and latest technical spec uh, specs for phone. Yeah, 2018. Now it's a 4.7 inch phone, as we all know, the iPhone 8 was. It is coming with the home button. Which is featuring a touch ID just like a normal 6 design was back in 2014. And um, what else do you know about the phone? Most likely, this set phone is coming out with a 3 gig of RAM and a 64 gig of storage or a 128 gig of storage. So it's coming with these two varieties of storage, a very, very nice one. For me, I would like to pick the 128 gig of storage. It's 3 gig RAM, making it very, very fast for a small phone in a very, very big body in the year 2020. So it's coming with a one. Uh, red camera at the back that's the primary camera it's just coming with the normal primary camera with the absence of ultra wide camera and take photo lens um, that we can find in the newer versions of the iphone so here in iphone 9 and the iphone se as tech expert have said we have this one 12 megapixel primary camera as a red camera it's going to be a very very nice one for me i don't really know about taking photos so i guess this phone according to apple is a phone there they just didn't fit to just include this latest technology in a very small body to make it affordable, to make it a very, very nice one. It's a photography equipment because that's what MP for Apple can capture very, very nice shots. Just like it can look at the iPhone 11 shot that I'm going to be featuring in this uh, video. You can check it here. The iPhone 11 shot. This is how the iPhone 9 is supposed to project, and this is how the iPhone 9 is going to produce images. Very, very nice images. Now, Apple has deemed fit to release this phone at about $399, that's $400. And I guess for the 128 gig version, the storage is going to come out for uh, the $499, that's $500. $500. So, within um, $400 to $500, you should get a latest phone Apple flagship if you are not this. Uh, 
tech person that you want to spend a fortune for a great phone you should get this apple iphone 9 or apple iphone se2 as tech expert have said here in 2020 with a very great price it's going to be one of the best sellers and in 2020 for me i guess and i'm very very sure it's going to be one of them with this perfect body with perfect spec and a very great price so this great phone that i supposedly said by apple to be released by april 3rd and officially announced march 31 as the first of this month about uh that is about 20 something days to go and it's a very very nice one for me because i apple said it might be coming with a glass back and you know apple phones with glass back feature this wireless charging which i am a fan of although i don't have any wireless charging phone but i love it from videos that i've watched and viewed over time uh, this phone is going to be a very very nice one i can't imagine having that small kind of phone like the 8 model you know the 8 words are this glass bag phone that featured the wireless charging that was the first phone to feature the wireless charging on the apple flagship line and now this phone now is supposedly said to come with a glass bag although tech experts um, of some different areas have said it might not come but uh over average it's still a rumor and is yet to be proved so by ending of this month we announce this uh, great flagship and we'll see if it's going to come with a glass bag but it's going to be a plus on the amount on the camera on the price and everything is going to be a very very nice one so i really appreciate that so alongside this uh, supposedly said flagship that's going to be released by the ending of this month crossed to the uh, next month april as april thought and he's saying it's going to come with the additional phone it's going to feature the 5.4 inch phone or the 5.5 inches phone just like the x model you know the x has this kind of notch at the top that looks well to some users but it's a very very nice one so it's said to feature this kind of phone as an additional phone to the se2 this might be called the se2 plus that's a very very weird name for me but the iphone 9 plus anyone out would deem fit to call it then this phone is a very very nice one it's going to it's not going to be featuring the face id as we think it's going to feature curve the notch but it's going to become this uh this kind of fingerprint power button that we all know that we have known in samsung for quite a while just like the normal samsung slip that was released last month february uh it's featured uh a power button and a fingerprint sensor embedded in it so this phone now is likely said to contain the touch id the power button at the top right corner of the iphone and in lesser bells so that means we have an increased nearly edge to edge display that we have been anticipating in apple iphone and this is going to be a very very nice one but this is still a rumor and it's yet to be proved we're waiting until the end of this month or next as april third for the release and the official launching of the apple iphone 9 or the se2 as it's all called by tech experts and tech viewers now this is an iPhone 7 Plus. It came out in 2016, rather. That was the previous version before the 8, the 8 Plus, and the XS 2016 flagship Apple. And this is a vividly what we should expect in the Apple SE2 or the Apple iPhone 9. This is the phone here with the full display. This is the 5.5 inch display. Although we have bezels on this phone, so this is the typical version and typical view of what you should expect in the Apple. SE2, SE2 or iPhone I as we all regularly know it but it's not coming with the dual red cameras as we have on the S, um, the 7 Plus it's coming with just one camera as I said earlier the 12 megapixel primary camera which is a very very nice upgrade from the SE, the former version so one disadvantage of this phone is the dual SIM, the eSIM and the normal regular SIM that we all know the 10S featured it, the 10S Max down to the 11 and 11 series now this phone doesn't have a dual sim it's coming with just one sim the normal regular sim that we all know in the apple iphone is it's a very very nice one actually with just one sim the normal regular iphone that we all know from years past so one more feature this phone is going to be missing out this year is the face id unlike regular iphones the latest version the 11 pros series and you know it's coming out with this face id that uh, i'm kind of a fan of although i have not had any phone with this ID recently, about from my old six, uh, that was about two years ago, and that was Infinix brand. I'll drop a video on that very soon, so click to subscribe and remember to view. So it's not coming with the face ID, it's coming with the normal touch ID embedded on the home button down, um, which is a very, very nice one. Another feature is going to be missing out this year is going to be the 5G variant that Apple is the main fit to include in the new Apple series, and um, this year as a iphone 12 the remote 12 we don't know if they're going to if they're going to drop the 12 or maybe just come up with another name i'll be dropping a latest video on that one so 
consider subscribing to my channel to view more of those tech videos and it's going to be missing out on this 5g so it's going to come in normal 4g that apple has featured long time in their phone and it's a very very nice one at least for network and it's a very good one now one more feature that this phone is going to be missing out of this year is telephoto and the auto ride lenses that we all know the iphone 11 pro and 11 pro max once had as last year flagship released in september 2019 and here we are in march 2020 so this phone is going to be missing out of these phones these lenses rather it's coming with just one 12 megapixel primary camera that's a primary lens which we all know just like the iphone 8 that kind of that came with a normal one red camera so it's going to be missing out from a 3.5 mm iPhone jack that we all used to from the Apple iPhone 7, 7 Plus down to this latest version. So it's going to be very, very nice. Uh, it's coming 2020, almost released. That is March 31st. I'm going to be launched officially in April um, 3rd. That is next month. It's going to be Apple's uh, flagship that is going to be very, very affordable this year. Now, most people have skipped away and shied away from Apple's phones due to this fortune spending. Like, you know, you have to get. A very very nice iPhone for about one thousand bucks, one thousand dollars. But this phone is coming out at a release price of below um five hundred dollars. Going to be a very very nice too. So this year um uh, I'm on guard. If you know you're going to be upgrading from the iPhone uh, Apple iPhone six, the five S or the six S, the six S Plus, it's going to be a very very nice upgrade from those phones because Apple has deemed it fit to just reduce the size, reduce the amount make it affordable in the market and i'm very sure it's going to be part of the top sellers it's going to be very very nice and it's coming with the latest technological specs very very nice to year in 2020 so it's going to make it relevant and very very accurate so i'll be dropping more tech videos on my channel if you have not subscribed consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button below this video and don't forget to turn on the notification um, Michael, and here i'll be giving you full tech videos on my channel so thank you see you in the next one and peace out